A wedding day nightmare leaves a bride and groom angry. Their fairy tale day ending with guests hungry and a caterer they could not count on. Here's what happened when 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom stepped in to help turn the couple's frowns upside down. I never dreamed it was going to be this beautiful. It was like a fairy tale. When the doors open and they waiting for me to come through, oh my God. Just like a, a, a beauty queen. She was something to behold, as my grandmother used to say. It was like a dream come true. On June 7th of this year, this couple so proudly became Mr. and Mrs. Craig Davis Sr. These Detroit lovebirds had the magical moments planned down to the T until an unforeseen tragedy forced them down a different road when their caterer, a dear friend, died suddenly. Sadly, with no choice and not much time, Julia and Craig decided to go with Jag's Soulful Sensation, a catering company in the city. She came in with her paperwork and talked professional and said, I can do it. Whatever you need, just let me know. So they came up with a simple reception menu. But what was supposed to be an easy task, come reception time, turned... Chaotic. Catastrophe. Horrible. Tanya Williams is a sister-in-law, and she was there. How bad did you feel? I felt really bad for her. The caterer was gone. I know she had to be gone at least three hours. Leaving her young son behind, they say, to pick up the pieces, telling the bride and groom. She had another event that she had going on at the same time. Some of our guests were leaving. Went immediately back to the kitchen, pulled up my dress on one side, and started helping putting mm -hmm. chicken on skewers. I'm like, is that the bride? None of the food for the adults was prepared at all. Well, Del Greta did finally return. What did she say? That she dropped the ball. How much money did you guys pay for this event? $2,700. I've been duped. And that was my day. They were set to meet with who they say appeared to be a sympathetic Del Greta the next day. But they have not heard from her ever since. Then I contacted her partner. And? He says that he never knew that she received any money from us. He never knew that she had booked the event. Well, I sat down with Michael Green to hear his side of things. I wasn't there. I haven't seen her or the money from this event. I called Miss Del Greta Allen too, on behalf of the husband and wife, and got her voicemail. I'm sorry, I'm willing to do events, I'm willing to do anything they need me to do at my expense. Thank you. And the newlyweds say, thank you too. In Detroit, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.